Welcome back to Lego Marvel Super Heroes, and I'm going to talk today about my theories of the upcoming X-Men movie, Days of Future Past. I'm going to be playing with some X-Men characters, so yeah, I figured I'd talk about my theories. Now, um, I'll try and care, use them character bias. Some um, Beast, um, in the trailer, it is confirmed that Beast is going to die. Um, Beast is confirmed to be going to die. Um, and I say this in El Saint, well, he's gonna die, um, the future version, and I think, um, the whole story about him, like, controlling his changes is not smart, because by that logic, um, he could have changed himself in the, pu in the future, and, and I'm not liking that, but that's pretty much saying he completed his mystique thing that he was trying to do. Um, anywho, these people boy, um, not one of my main concerns, um, but I'm gonna switch the gears to another X-Men character that I'm pretty sure will be something pretty exciting to talk about. It's Magneto. Now, Magneto and Charles are probably going to team up in the future. They've probably realized they need each other to survive in this dystopian world. They're required to work together. And that's going to really change the game of this universe. Sorry. And it's really going to change the way this universe acts. If because Mag Wolverine is going back in time to make sure that these are our friends. But Magneto is kind of an activist. And taking back to the first class, class all, all depends on how they portray Magneto. How well will he do in this new universe being Charles' friend? Now, Magneto isn't the main topic that I want to... Isn't the main thing I'm concerned about in this movie. Yes, not at all. Um, and our character, um, I like to talk about, I guess that was not really in the thing. And what the heck, I'll use that. That was. But I'm just using it because it's the next main character thing. Um, the main character, I want to now talk about um, Havoc. And Havoc is a very important character in this universe. Um, not to mention his continuity error being Scott Summer's son, which I think oh the actors. Are going to make a cameo. The side plot from Gray are probably going to make a cameo, which would be kind of nice, considering they were apparently Charles's first student. We failed this race, huh? So I'll just go around talking about some of the other. Uh, Havoc. Havoc is probably going to say this because he's seen in Vietnam. Because he's in Vietnam where, believe it or not, is where our next character I want to talk about is Mystique. If I can find this. Mystique. There it is. So yeah, Mystique. Why? Because Mystique is actually going to set up the foundation. We're going to actually learn how she became the badass killer she is in, X in the X-Men trilogy. Which I'm so excited to learn because apparently her and Charles are lovers at this point. I don't know the complete details, so don't sue me if I'm like wrong. I'm not hoping to get it right. 
places to be, people to meet, blah blah blah. Anywho, Mystique is not. Well, and I want to believe that she is broken by Eric. But this is a new future where Magneto is going to be set into the future just to like, go and fix things. And it's kind of nice just to have like a Sunday, like a drive, talk about some stuff. And um, oh it's really interesting what they're probably going to do with this new future. But Magneto has an air continuity error with Pietro Maxinoff, um, Quicksilver. And he's gonna be in the next X Men. He's gonna be in the next Avengers movie. Scarlet Witch is going to make a cameo. She will for sure. It's been confirmed that Wanda Maxinoff is in the script. All right, I suppose. Um, mistake. She is seen with Toad in some other person, which I'm actually interesting to see Toad's side. Toad. 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 I'm interesting about Toad. Interested about Toad. reason I want to say that because Toad is kind of my main function. I did it. Toad is the most interesting. He wasn't really in all the X-Men movies. He was only in one. But him being back and him looking older. Yes, older. In the next upcoming X-Men movie. And he's going to be in Vietnam. Real Wolverine. And so I'm interested to see how the mutants react to Nixon. Ah, I missed that. Anywho. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see what sign things will happen to Toad, because to see how he becomes this lethal sort of killer. At kind of villain, but I think they're going to form new X-Men units to destroy the Sentinels. Um, another character I'm interested in, which I'll get to next, is Charles Xavier, because he has to form, because based on what I've seen of him, he's an alcoholic, but he needs to form with the Charles Xavier they need as a leader. Now, that can even be done in some ways, but he's kind of given up at this point. Maybe the Nixon reveal, which if you're um, a fellow comic book fan, oh, you know that Nixon is... Yeah, Emma Frost. I don't know if Emma Frost is going to be in it. She might, might not. I don't think she ha has been confirmed yet. Oh, uh, what character was I again? Oh, yeah. Charles Professor X. So, I know. I don't know how Professor Charles Xavier is going to do well in this new universe yet. It all depends on how they do him, because he's now an alcoholic, and he's like, oh, I don't give a crap. We're like, oh, you kind of do these sleep mutants, and humanity can work as one. There's so many characters I think they can work with this. Juggernaut would be a nice, a nice add on to the story. Um, I like to talk about Storm now, because I think she's going to die. Um, Allie Berry is going to play Storm again. Bless her soul, she's pregnant. Um, and I think she's going to do a good job at playing Storm, but I think Storm is going to die. The reason I say that is because there's a sentinel about to attack her. If so Storm might be the first one to die of the sentinels, and Rogue is going to be back. Rogue has been confirmed to be back into the X-Men series. I'm happy about that because she was such a main staple. First, well, not, this character isn't in the X-Men movie. I just need to get him to fly up there. Anywho, I think Rogue is going to be very important. And mostly I want to come up here. Because I wanted to talk about Iceman. Because he's going to be in the movie in the future. Iceman, you can be done multiple ways. You could be a fellow, you could be the next leader of the mutants, but you have to choose between Shadowcat and Rogue. And Rogue is a great character in the Marvel Universe. And 
I think Iceman's gonna play a big part with her, like, trying to cope with herself. The reason I say that is because Rogue is a very shy girl. I won't. She is. And I just want to see how they're going to deal with Rogue in this future um, world. And so on. Now, the final character I want to talk about... Whoa, what time is it? Okay. Um, is Sentinel. And it goes under many... I can see if it was them. There it is. I can know that. How uh, dark are you? Uh, wait. Sentinels are going to be multiple ways. Sentinels can't be done one way or another. Sentinels are just the Sentinels. And I'm worried about how they're going to be the Sentinels because... Oh yeah, I forgot to show Big Fig. Because uh, this character is also going to be in the movie. Colossus. I think he's just going to be a warrior. Be like I'm, I'm Colossus, and I meant to say humanity in the future, but he's a Soviet. So I wonder how that's gonna play because in one picture there's a Colossus baby. Now Wolverine could probably be the most affected by this. He probably will remember his few his um past. Um, but find the jet wing, the X jet. That would just what. But if Wolverine is going to be the most effective, because he's finally going to learn his past, which we know is, we know his past. In X-Men Origins Wolverine. If you guys haven't seen it, it's okay, movie. Wolverine, Wolverine was worse than it. But Wolverine's gonna learn about his past. And Jason, uh, not Jason, um, William Stryker's gonna be in the film, which I think is going to be a great idea. He's, he's probably gonna be really young. He's probably just gonna be general, learning about, like, may maybe it'd be nice if Jason was referenced, like, he just finds out that he's immune for the first time. That would be a great one. I don't have enough time, guys, so uh, this is going to be the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed this part. Oh, good thing we have a healing factor. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and if you guys are seeing the upcoming X-Men Origin, X-Men movie, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys thought of it. Um, bye.